get some music to start off with. But we, we might get pulled off for that. We might get what? Pulled off. All right. What do you mean pulled off? Facebook might flag it. No, no, that's what we have here. Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 10 of the number one home purchase experience. We Finally. are live. We are live. <clears throat> I love my new camera, my new phone, by the way. Um, I hope you guys can uh, appreciate that uh, it doesn't zoom in anymore. All right, let us know if you could hear us, if you could see us well. Yes. We always want to make sure this is, like he said, episode 10, our milestone episode of the number one home purchase experience here from our corporate office in Pima, Scottsdale, Arizona. His Walk corporate office. Yeah. His, our his corporate, corporate office. office. My office, uh, five offices actually, Peoria, Glendale, um, actually not Glendale, Peoria, it's somewhat close to Glendale, that's why it's in mm. Glendale, but uh, Peoria, then Goodyear, is the ones that I primarily work out of. Um, but yeah, so, are you guys excited to win some prizes or what? Yeah, so we want to keep this one short, like always, that's something new that we're trying to do. So we're going to announce the first giveaway here. Uh, Luis brought in, drum roll. Oh, should we do it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, to be eligible for this prize, all you have to do is like, share, and comment on the video, and you win. Some you wireless, yeah, you could win some wireless uh, headphones. These are really cool. They were recommended by uh, someone uh, that I know. I said, dude, these guys, these are really good. Uh, if you like to work out, if you like to run, um, or if you just like to listen to music, it's not plugged into your phone. It's just Bluetooth wireless headphones that actually fit nicely in your ear. So I think you guys will really appreciate these. These are really cool. So, and uh, really, yeah, share, comment, comment, and like. And like. So and that's it. That's for that prize. We will select the winner and announce the winner next week. And for the grand prize, stick around until the end of the show. Yes. And we'll tell you the details about that prize and give you a preview of what it is. Exactly. But let's jump right into it, guys. Awesome. Like we said, episode 10, I know you had some great information for us on renovations somebody could do on their house that actually increases the value. Exactly, but I thought we wanted to talk about the UFC. Oh, the UFC, that's right. I have a lot of fans. I have a lot of people that watch the UFC. Same so, deal. I, I yeah. get excited. I get excited. Yeah. It's episode 10. Yeah. Uh, the UFC Glendale card, Gagey versus Poirier. Awesome. Oh, my awesome. gosh. We, we were both there. We were both there. Um, like we said we would. Like we said we would. Yes. And what a fight. It was a great fight. Uh, awesome. The biggest moment for me was, I'm not sure if you were there at this point, but when the local kid beat... Wilson Hayes. No, I wasn't there yet. I got Dude, there a little bit the later. the crowd was going nuts. Yeah, I didn't even know who that kid was. Towns, yeah. I didn't even know who the kid was. He went out there, fought a top five guy at 125. Yeah. And won. Yeah, Imagine that. Crazy. I think he's like 27 too. Maybe yeah. even younger. So, um, yeah, it was really awesome. I know I had a couple people that I know that went out there. Uh, Sabino, I know you were out there. You had a good time. Um, uh, yeah, it was just it was just an awesome time. Yeah. Great friends. Um, my first UFC fight ever, so I was really excited and I really liked it. So hopefully it comes back more often. Yeah, hopefully it does. Down to go. And I think it will <laughs> because the fans got to show them. Yeah, it was great. I mean, I think it was awesome. So. All right, now we can cool. move on. Yes, yes. Back, Moving back, on back, back into, into the renovation part of a home. A lot of people think some changes into their house actually increases the value when it doesn't. Yeah. And you'd be the expert on that. Awesome, yeah, so um, so why renovate? So uh, there's a couple of options that you could do when it comes to renovating a house. Um, for, first of all, it's gonna add value to the house, so if you plan to sell it, um, it's gonna add some value to the house, right? Maybe not, if you don't even plan to sell it right away, in the next two or three years, you renovate it now, it's gonna be ready by then. Um, another thing, I mean, it keeps your house uh, enjoyable, because, I mean, you probably get tired of uh, the same kitchen all the time, the same, you know, bathroom, so, uh, the kitchen was one of the most that are um, one of the one of the items in the house that always gets renovated, or at least what people actually uh, want to see right. renovated when they do um, shop for homes. And I see that all the time. Um, in fact, so forty three percent of homeowners uh, can understand their old kitchen. That's and crazy. Let's be honest. Kitchens and bathrooms sell, sell homes. Yes, does it have that granite countertop? Yeah. That backsplash. Even if we don't want to admit it, we make those subconscious decisions. Yes. Based on the bathroom and the kitchen. Exactly. 
And uh, so three most popular kitchen features, they were the countertops, backsplash, and the kitchen sinks. So if you want to upgrade something in the kitchen, start with those countertops, always, always, always mm -hmm. is something what people look for, upgraded countertops. Uh, backsplash is, you know, out there right now, it's, it's really nice, it makes the um, kitchen stand out. Um, so before you do any renovations, Call me. I'll be there. I'll go to your house and I'll tell you what, you know, depends exactly. on what you want to do. Property. Yeah, exactly. Because so. everybody's property is going to be a little bit different. Everybody else's wants and needs on changes in that property are going to be a little bit different. Yep. But he's the guy you want to meet with. Call him, email him, meet up with him, have him do a walk through your property to give you the best advice possible. Exactly. And then uh, one last thing here. Uh, so millennials, mm -hmm. us, more likely to install a kitchen island. Um, really? Yeah. I like it. I mean, I, have I, don't, I don't have one. But would but it be cool? Yeah, it'd be cool. See, there you go. I'll dig it. Agreed. An extra countertop space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Maybe some, you know, kitchen cabinets underneath and stuff, so. I probably don't need it because I live by myself, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, but when you do go to sell it, it's going to add some value to it. Oh, so now we're not talking about an island like on wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, seen no, no wheels. Not no, on wheels. Not on wheels. Yeah, yeah, built in islands, yes. I, I don't have that much kitchen for that. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, we'll 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 <laughs> but Never mind. Islands. Yeah. Everybody watching, yes. you are more likely to put in an island in your kitchen based on those statistics. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it does add um, more uh, kitchen cabinet space, counter space. And it can't be that much, that too expensive, actually. So, yeah. Right. So, those are the three things that you uh, want to do to your kitchen. Um, bathrooms were the other things that were uh, very popular in renovating. So, um like I said, if you have any questions regarding any renovations or how it can help your uh, home's value, give me a call um, anytime. And we bring that up for one main reason. Yes. At the end of the day, I know that we talk about getting into your home. Get into yeah. that home for you, for your family, host those barbecues, have friends over, have company over, be a homeowner, 100%. Yeah. And that is a beautiful thing and there's something to be said about being a homeowner. But honestly, I don't finance homes. <laughs> I finance investments. investments. They just happen to be homes. Yes. And that's something that I let go of telling people. It is an asset. It's an investment. It's a vehicle for you to make money. Yeah. And we never really talk about the money here. I know. That's interesting. Right? Yeah. But people forget. It's an investment. I, get, I investment. forget sometimes. Right now, if you're not trying to be a homeowner in 2018, it's the end of the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to get on it. Don't pass up this opportunity to make money. I'll give you an example. First of all, I live what I preach. I own a home, right? That's good, that's good. And we'll use a round number. Because... Round numbers. Yeah, round numbers. Yeah, better. it makes it easy. Based on what the experts say on the home expectation survey that was released this month, and the home expectation survey is a panel of the hundred of a hundred of the best economists in housing, mm -hmm. and they all do their uh, analysis analysis Predictions. of where appreciation is going to go. Where do they predict, or wh at what rate appreciation are we expecting? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this much: only one percent, so one person, one said person. that there's not going to be any appreciation. Mm -hmm. All of the other ones said that there will be appreciation up to six percent. Of those individuals. Most of them agreed, based on this report that I'm looking mm -hmm. right here, in 2018, homes should appreciate anywhere from 4.5% to 5.9%. That's pretty good if you ask me. Right? Here's what I'm going to tell you. In my specific situation, my home appreciated a little north of 6% Not in bad. one year. That's pretty good. One year. Right now, I've... I'm probably sitting at $14,000 that I made in one year, potentially, of course. Yeah, yeah. And how do I know this? Because he did the com comparables yes, for me. Yes, exactly. So, and, and you know, if you, if you, if you don't want to talk appreciation and you're like, yeah, that's not going to happen, look at it this way. You do, you're renting, right? You're like, I'm not going to buy because, uh, you know, it's not going to appreciate. Mm -hmm. So next year you stay there. And next year the landlord's like, hey, your year's up. Uh, rental prices are up. So guess what? Your rent's going up. You don't like it? You got to move. Here's exactly. your 30-day notice. So it's simple as that. So if you don't want to do it because it's not going to appreciate, do it because you don't have to move every year and you don't have your rental um, price right. go up every, every year as well. And let me touch on that real quick. Right. Every year, 
year over year, I want to say for the last 40 years, probably even longer, yeah. rent has never took a dip. It's crazy. Did you know that? Yeah. No, I didn't know that, but... taking a dip. <laughs> I can that tell you right now it's expensive. The graph goes straight up like that, year <laughs> yeah. over year. Not, not, not even during the economic crisis. Really? Did it take a dip? Next, next week, try mm -hmm. to get that report. I think oh, that'd I be definitely cool. Because visual, right? Visual. Yeah. They oh, hear right. us. Let's show it. Yeah. Let's cool. show it. Let's show them this graph today. See that? There right there? Appreciation. By the experts, not by us. This is the smartest people in this country telling you that the home should roughly appreciate continually in 2018, 4.5 to 5.9%. Now, I don't expect most of my audience to be mathematic geniuses, right. but use a round number, 100,000, mm -hmm. 200,000, 300,000, plug in, worst case, 4.5%, yeah. and then run it for five years, see where that takes you. Because we ran it at, uh, for five years at a medium price point of 200,000, which is lower than the price point, average price yes, point in Phoenix, yes. with worst, worst case 4%, not even 45 4%, by year five, how much do you think the property appreciated? By year five, you could sell the property for $243 potentially. So in five years, that's how much you gain. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Especially because yeah. a lot of people right now, like you said, are renting. Yeah. That your net worth is low. Buying a home, financing a home, meeting with us to talk about this opportunity increases your family wealth mm -hmm. and your net worth. Yep. And you don't have to worry about the landlord. Something breaks, doesn't want to fix it. Yeah. The, the sink is leaking. You call him, doesn't want to go out there. Says, yeah, he'll take care of it. Um, in a year, you know, hey, I'm going to sell the house, so you got to move somewhere else. Then you can't find a place, so you got to move, you know, farther and farther away or somewhere where you don't want to go because you're yeah. pressured. Who wants to deal with a jerk landlord? Yeah. Not me. So, we all know somebody that has. Yeah. I never have personally. God bless. But <laughs> we all know somebody that has, and that's terrible. So just stability at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. If you don't think it's going to appreciate, you're going to be stable. Right. right. Your rent's not going to go up. It's fixed rate. You're paying for your own investment. Your exactly. own mortgage, not somebody else's. So at the end of the day, in the long run, I mean, there's just so many benefits to owning a home. So just to go over that real quick, yes, it is a home. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a property. It's awesome that you and your family get to live in that investment and you get to protect and take care of that investment. But at the end of the day, think about it as an asset. Yes. It's an investment. It will give you a return, especially in the market right now. Yeah, definitely. That sounds a little too suspect, does it? It does. It does, but it it's does. the truth. But we're not lying. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, we're not lying. It's the truth. We're not lying. So yeah, investment appreciation is happening. If you guys want more details on what that report is, what it looks like, so you know I'm not lying to you, no. uh, let me know in the comment section, or maybe I'll, in 24 hours I'll post it at the end of the comment section so you guys can see with your own eyes. Yeah. And that's what the experts had to say. Like I said, sit with us, meet with us. I'm available 24-7, literally, 24-7, yeah. <laughs> so is he. Yeah. We take calls late at night late. sometimes. Yeah. The latest one I got was at 11, I think, so far. That's pretty late. So far, but yeah. you got to answer. Yeah, you got to answer. Yeah. Available all the time. Call us whenever, text us whenever. Yeah. I even do weekends. Yeah. We're there for you guys, so like we always say in our show, yeah. um, we're there for you guys. As long as you reach out to us, we'll be there. Any questions from you guys? Any closing comments from you? Um, Any just, topics that we missed? Anything um, I just want to say thanks uh, to our viewers, uh, families, friends, past clients, um, everyone who supports both of us. Uh, this Facebook Live started kind of out of nowhere, um, and it just kind of kept going, and uh, we couldn't have done it without you guys, so that's why we are giving these prizes to you guys for supporting us still. Uh, this is our episode 10, so we are really grateful to still be doing yeah. this, and uh, thank you guys. And we're doing better than we thought we would yeah, better. in this first quarter. Like you said, thank you guys. Like it, share it, and comment Comments. on it to be eligible for that first prize that we mentioned in the beginning of this video. Yep. And should we debut this last prize? We might as well. I All right. Coming up with our 20 the minutes last minutes. prize. And before I show you this last prize. It's a really cool prize. You have to like the vi video. Like share it, it. Share it. Comment. And... Actually, we'll oh. count this as a comment. Yeah, count, count it as a comment. Tag two people and only tag people that you think would benefit from this. Exactly. That you think needs this information, that you think could learn from this, that could do better because of this. And it doesn't matter what state they're from. Mm -hmm. 
I work Arizona, California, and we all know people throughout the country yes. that we can refer the business to. Exactly. Trusted people so they're not out there just looking for whoever exactly. they find online. So we'll be there to help them. Uh, wherever state they are, we have connections everywhere. Yeah. So, grand prize? Grand prize! Drum roll. This is Ooh. your grand prize. Look at this. The Onyx Studio 4 Bluetooth speaker. Look how big this is. Look at this. It works, guys. It really does it's work. It's crazy. Like it. Share it. Com comment tag tag it. two people, basically, yeah. is what it is. Tag comment. two people. So comment somebody mm -hmm. you think is going to you know, benefit Look, from this. Here's the prize. The goal is, the whole point of the show is yeah. really for us to fill up our schedule with people that want answers, people yeah. that need help. And you know what? It really has increased my messaging on Facebook a lot. I know. I spend a lot of time on Facebook just messaging people back and forth. That's all good. Which is what we want. Thank you, though. That's what we really thank you. That is what we want. We're not complaining. We want more of it. Right? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was just a... That's uh, a wrap for me. Yeah. Is that a wrap for That's you? That's a wrap for me. So remember, like, comment, share, tag a couple people to win this prize. And for the rest of you, or like, comment, and share. So thank you for joining in. Win. Thank you very much. Those are the two prizes. We will announce the winners next Week. Next week. This yes. is the number one home purchase experience. And, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you guys. We'll see you next see week. Ya.